What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws and today we're going to take out the school bus here aka the cool bus. Uh, it's like a Chevy. I don't know. Whatever. We're just going to call it a bus. Don't mind the awkwardness of how it is. <laughs> don't mind that. It's still cool. It's probably going to be super top heavy on the trail so I don't expect it to do the greatest but we're going to see. Alright, big old school bus here. Throw this thing in four-wheel drive. Oh yeah, she, she she might not do too bad. She might not be, do too bad. Let's see. Come on. Give her some gas here. Woo! Alright, immediately just wants to spin going up this hill. So we're going to definitely throw that in low gear. Although low gear, actually, not too bad. Not too bad, actually. It's doing decent so far. Woo! It is a little, little squirrely, a little top heavy. As expected with an off-road lifted as fuck school bus. Things actually really fast for a school bus, but it's got the same power as uh, you know, pick 'em up trucks. So, woo! Yeah, it's doing decent. It's eating these hills, man. Ooh, it's not super top heavy either. So let's get over here to the rock crawling section. See uh, if it continues to do pretty nice and actually impress us here. Work. Let's go, little school bus. I should have painted this thing yellow. Uh, <laughs> I really should have painted it yellow for this. Oh, it has no problems doing that. Of course, going to have to go in low gear, just like everything through here. Oh, that could be a nice one there. Yes. The ski bus. It's a good picture. Okay. Let's continue on. Some rock crawling here. Oh, yeah. Just eating. Come on, Scoobish. You got this. I wonder if we're going to have any issue there. Not really. A little bit of smackage, but not too bad because there is no front bumper on here, which I think definitely helps the school bus. If this thing actually came with a front bumper, it would, uh, it would not be very good through here. But it doesn't come with a front bumper, so it's got massive amounts of clearance. Ooh, there you go. Except for that, that wasn't clearance. Here we go. I oh, yeah, right on up. And it does have some nice sway to it. So I really feel like it it does have some top heavy aspects to it on some level. It's it's got to be top heavy. So it's got some good sway when we're <laughs> we're turning and shit. Yeah, she's definitely top heavy. And of course, it's scuba, so it's got the lights. Oh, okay, well, all right, low gear. Would not climb over that rock and high. Uh, 30 some on. Urk. <laughs> that was one way. <laughs> That was one way to stop. Just do a 360 in the air there. Alright, on to the mud pit. This this on uh, the bus probably going to do the same as everything else through the mud. Because it comes with the same tires and same power level and all that. And it's not, not too much, oh god, not too much more lifted than most things. Although it does handle having you know half health really really well surprisingly like it's not bogging at all which is very very new to feel honestly usually it's it's pretty boggy at this point not this one oh yeah she's doing good six miles an hour through the mud 
Not bad at all. Get out to the other side here and throw right into high gear. Now I think the bus will actually crawl over our rocks here. I mean, why not, right? It's the school bus. I think it deserves a little, little extra rock crawling. Oops. There we go. Oh, yeah. Bus has no problem with it. Until you hit that freaking grill on a rock. Then it's got all the issues. There we go. Come on. You're not touching nothing. It's not touching nothing. But it thinks it is, apparently. Or it's the back tire. I'm trying to do this all nice. I'm not worried about the time for it, obviously. I'm never <laughs> worried about that. Oh wow, I just realized uh, the shocks in the front. Oh my. Let's not look at that ever again. Uh, I didn't realize <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> oh, I've, I've not noticed that until now. School bus. Why, ha why doth thee forsaken me? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> No power. Okay, there we go. Climb the hill, little bush. Here you go. Yep. Just, I'm not gonna pay attention to that front shock ever again. I don't know. <laughs> this the bus has such a long shaft at the top that oh man. I don't know if that's the bus or if that's just that shock in general, and I just haven't noticed it. But yep. Hopefully. <laughs> You guys enjoyed this episode of the Stock Truck Challenge. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.